in an important development and an unexpected twist in the Air India urination case. Lawyers for Shankar Mishra, who has been accused of urinating at an elderly woman during an Air India flight, has now told the Delhi court that it was the lady who had urinated on herself. The lawyers today told Delhi's Patiala House Court that the lady involved in the incident suffers from urinary incontinence, which is very common amongst classical dancers, and also that she's been a Bharatnatyam dancer for the last 30 years. The submissions were made by Shankar's lawyers in front of Patiala House Court, where Delhi police had moved seeking police custody of Shankar Mishra. Earlier, a metropolitan magistrate had refused to grant Delhi police his police custody and had sent Mishra to judicial custody instead. Today, the Delhi police challenged that order and sought revision of that particular order to seek Mishra's police remand for three days. What Mishra's lawyers have also argued that the way in which they were seated on the flight, it was not possible for him to have gone to the lady and urinated on her. They have also said that Mishra was sitting on seat number 8C, which they call an undisputed fact. And what the lady has claimed in her complaint is that the person sitting on 8A was the person who had urinated on her. The Delhi court, the judge today, was seemingly un convinced with these arguments but however did not comment on them in the record according to the court all the arguments which were raised before the magistrate can only be argued before him and he cannot comment or pass an order on any argument which was already not raised before the metropolitan magistrate the court has therefore asked the delhi police granted liberty to the delhi police to approach the magistrate again with fresh grounds because the Delhi police is now claiming that they need his police custody to investigate and understand if he was under the influence of any other intoxicant or not. The new arguments that have now been put forth by Mishra's lawyers, whether or not that will affect his case, is something that we are yet to see. From New Delhi, this is Shishti Ojha, India Today.